This is the Akron News Now Update. I'm Lindsay McCoy. Reaction to the layoffs in the city of Akron. On the 1590 WAKR Ray Horner Morning Show on Friday morning, three city officials joined Ray Horner to talk about the reaction to the layoffs and what is going to happen next. Ray Horner's first guest, FOP Lodge 7 President Paul Holinsky, who says he is not going to stop trying to save his police officers' jobs. When we look at the hard number of layoffs in the police department, uh, 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 Paul, obviously when we heard these layoffs come down, it really hit deep into the public safety sector. Uh, did you get an explanation why the public safety sector was hit so hard with these layoffs in Akron? No, um, I, I didn't get an explanation. Uh, you know, the, the only explanations we've gotten from the, the city uh, were general explanations uh, that revenue dropped. Um, the mayor had made the statement at one point that he had cut the other services already, so this time he would have to hit uh, police and fire harder. Uh, I still think there's a way around these layoffs, and I'm hoping to make that point in the upcoming meetings uh, that we're going to have with the city. Uh, I'll do everything I can to make sure that not one job is lost. Following Helinski's interview, we're in-studio guests Sherry Cunningham, the soon-to-be Akron Law Director, and Akron Police Chief Craig Gilbride. And with these layoffs, and I know it's not said and done yet, as Sherry mentioned, we're going to try to get as many of these officers to keep that uniform on as possible. But let's say this does indeed happen. What does this do to the safety of the residents of Akron? How much of an effect? Well, predicting an effect at this point uh, is hard to tell. Will it have an effect? Yes, I, I believe it will. To what degree? I don't know. I mean, could crime go up? Certainly. But it can also go up when you're fully staffed, too. So to predict, I, I don't think anybody can do that irrespective of what they say. Uh, there's some theor uh, theory out there or some thought out there that even with a smaller department, uh, it makes it better because it forces the department to, uh, to operate more effectively and more creatively. You still got to stay with union codes, I know, but will Absolutely. there be added pressure on the officers still on duty, maybe extended hours, some adjustments on that side or not? I don't anticipate extending hours or anything like that. Uh, however, it, like I said, if this would go on for an extended period of time, uh, I'm probably going to have to look at some situations where I have to merge units and uh, things of that nature. The company that stepped up to pay the city early in order to spare more layoffs is First Energy. Akron News Now's Tina Kaufman has the details. First Energy Solutions has created a way to give back to several communities in Summit County, most notably Akron. We felt that we could develop a real partnership to provide long-term savings to customers because we have the assets that can meet their requirements. Powering our communities gives a $2.2 million grant to the Rubber City in exchange for a service contract extension. We live here, we want these communities to be strong. Mayor Plasquelic mentioned the company was going to step in to help, but he couldn't tell the news sooner, saying this was First Energy Solutions' decision and announcement to make. Without this grant, more fire and safety officials would have gotten pink slips. The amount of money this grant will provide between now and the end of the year to, to hire or to keep on duty, I should say, 70 officers. So we'll pay their cost, whatever that is. Twelve other local communities will get another piece of the pie. Tina Kaufman, Akron News Now. Good news for local campuses. Area universities are now showing a spike for enrollment this fall. At Stark State College, enrollment is up 32% with an all-time record of 12,483 students. The University of Akron reports a 7.6 increase in comparison to last fall with almost 26,000 students. Kent State University announced its fall enrollment jumped almost 12% by having more than 38,000 students. This growth marks the highest record enrollment for the 100-year history of Kent State. Well, if you'd like to get out and about this weekend in downtown Akron, the Greek Festival has kicked off. It's held at the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church right off of Union Street. They offer everything from gyros to and plenty of sweet treats. The festival runs through Saturday and admission is free. Well, if you have a news tip, just shoot us an email. It's news at rcrg.net. You can also follow our updates on Twitter and our Facebook status, too. For the latest local news, check out akronnewsnow.com for news online, on demand, now. For Akron News Now, I'm Lindsay McCoy.